All right, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Mariceli Santiago. I am the Director of Student Life and Activities and welcome to our CTC Live. We're talking today to Jocelyn Larkin from our continuing ed, ed department. And she is going to really guide us through the process of being able to know what continuing ed really is, everything that it has to offer, and maybe uh, some of the things that it can actually do for you if you are interested in it. So Jocelyn, can you please take it away? Sure, well, thanks for having me. And some of you know, I'm the coordinator for community programs up at Continuing Education. Um, we also offer a lot of professional development classes. Um, but as far as what I do, I'm over the College for Kids program, and we also do adult personal enrichment. Um, so we are not, uh, you don't register through the regular CTC registration. You actually come through Continuing Education. Um, something really cool is that this year we have online registration, which is making it a lot easier for people to sign up for the classes that we have available. That's awesome. Um, and usually you guys have a schedule that comes out every so often. Is, what's the next schedule coming out? Is it out yet? I'm excited. Right, so the next schedule will be posted um, October 30th, or I'm sorry, August 30th. So here in just over a week. Um, and we've got a lot of new classes that we're going to be offering through the fall and the winter. Um, remember that we will also come out with another winter catalog uh, towards the end of September to add some additional classes that we might come up with between now and then. Yeah, what are, what are, could you give us a sneak peek as to what's, what are some of the things that we can expect? Yeah, absolutely. So I can tell you some of the classes that if you went online now, you could register for these classes. Um, the next one coming up is actually Crochet for Beginners. Uh, that's a really fun personal enrichment class. It is for adults, but uh, we've opened that up to kids that want to take the class together with their parents. So you do have to register the parent and the child, but you can take the class together. Um, a, a minor student does have to attend that class with an adult. Um, so we have that. We have an intro to ASL class, and this is really cool because it's a class that we offered during the summer to kids, um, but we're trying to extend these offerings into the school year during the daytime to our homeschool community. So hopefully there are some homeschool kids or parents out there watching, and just know that CTC does have resources available to you to kind of add to your child's enrichment. Um, yeah. So uh, we've also got some uh, athletic classes going on right now for our seniors. We have an amazing aerobics class in the swimming pool here at CTC. It's a great facility. Um, we really recommend it for folks that are 55 and up or just people who are looking for some low resistance exercises. Um, you get six to eight classes for only $29. So it's really affordable um, and it's a very popular class. We get 60 enrollments every time. Um, right now we're offering it on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, but very soon, maybe in the next couple of weeks, we'll have openings for Mondays and Wednesdays, 10 a.m. till 11 a.m. Ooh, see, I'm always a fan of those. Um, I like the ones in the water. You're working out, but it's, you're still getting the full workout, but it's almost like you're playing. That's how I look at it anyway. That, and you know, the Texas summer lasts so long. So if you can get in the pool once or twice a week, get your exercise in, get cooled down, not just that, but it's really good for folks who uh, maybe are needing a little more socialization in their uh, day. We have some people in retirement that just need to get out. They need to, you know, build a community. The class is really great about that. They have their own Facebook group. Um, they watch each other. They take care of each other. Um, they make sure that everyone's good. So I, I really recommend it for anyone who's looking for maybe just um, some social time to get out of the house, um, avoid isolation. We all know how bad that is for your health, almost worse than just not exercising. Yeah, definitely. Um, and also, you mentioned a little bit about the programs for children in general, um, yeah. and specifically ASL. I'm all yeah. for learning a new language. Uh, that mm -hmm. is always fun. Uh, and so, what are some of the programs available for the kids? Okay, so ASL is our first one that we're going to have offered, and that one actually will be on September 16th. So there's plenty of room, uh, time to enroll. We only take eight students at a time in the class. So, you know, 
definitely try to sign up as soon as possible. That's also a class that you can take together with a parent. Um, we don't charge parents for that class. We charge the registration for the student and parents can sit in on the class. That way they can learn the skills together and be able to practice at home. So continued learning at home. That's um, awesome. Yeah, that, that's a really cool class. And we actually have uh, two parts to it. It's ASL 1 and then the following week is ASL 2. They're both beginner's classes, um, starting off with ba very basic things. But part two just has some additional um, songs and other methods of learning ASL that they use. Um, as far as classes that are coming up for registration for kids, uh, we got quite an offering. We'll have Introduction to Scholastic Chess. I still don't know how to play chess. I keep saying I'm going to learn how to play chess. I might need to take that class with the kids. We'll see. <laughs> um, we'll have a, a elementary drama for students five and up, and that one will be really fun. It's a, just a short class, a couple days, but it's really great to just have some enrichment, have them meet some new kids, and do something fun. Um, we will also have... Uh, some classes for older students. Um, we're really trying to focus on offering things to high school students like our TSI prep classes. So we're looking at seniors, those who are maybe having a hard time um, passing the TSI or feel like maybe they need some support before they take it. Um, we'll have ELA and math. Um, it's kind of like a tutoring class, but it will kind of guide them um, hopefully towards passing that exam. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, we'll have uh, engineering and Legos. Um, mm. So that's like the battle bots class that we did during the summer. So we'll also offer that to our homeschool community. So we really hope that they'll participate and um, we'll get to do a little bit of battle bot competition through that program. Uh, let's see, what else for kids? Oh, and then for high school seniors, um, actually anyone in high school, but I really recommend it for seniors. Um, we have an introduction to AI class. It's an online class. It's every Friday, very affordable. It's one hour, but these are really important classes, especially for these kids that are going out